Alright, so I've had just about enough of all this fucking Fandango bullshit. You people in the YWC are the saddest bunch of motherfuckers. And I'm going to extend this beyond the YWC. I'm going to talk about the IWC. <gasps> the internet wrestling community. Not just restrained to YouTube. But the internet. Fucking stupid ass motherfuckers. That are going ape shit over Fandango. Because the New Jersey crowd was humming Fandango's theme song. Ah! This is an opportunity for us to pretend we like somebody. Fuck you, motherfuckers. I'm fucking sick to goddamn death of all of you. It's bad enough that most of you make excuses for The Rock, a shitty-ass fucking sell-out wrestler that, what, that isn't man enough to admit that he just doesn't want to be there and he wants to just walk out on you and make movies, but he has to fucking fake an injury. It's bad enough that you do that. It's bad enough that you stick up for PG antics. It's bad enough. But now, you have to worship. You have to bow down to fucking Johnny Curtis of all people. Because people were humming his theme song. Are you fucking retarded? Yes, you are. I have said it time and time again that the YWC is full of nothing but fucking retards. Fucking rejects of society. They're just fucking phonies. If you knew them in real life... You would pay them no mind. You'd walk right by them. But sadly, if you want to make videos on here, you have to put up with their shitty, ridiculous fucking comments and stupid ass videos that pop up in your related searches and they're swarming all in. <laughs> you know, I'm sick of it. Let me talk about Fandango. You know, I'm getting worked up here. So Fandango. I heard the negative reaction at WrestleMania in my section. People do not like this motherfucker. We all agreed that, you know, as far as the undercard went, that Fandango did have the best match. But that was because Jericho carried him to it. Because it's Chris Jericho. Okay? So there you go. There's that. But forget about all that. So there you go. That's what people think recently of Fandango's first match. That's what I got from it. But people still said there was a lot of fag talk and, you know, nobody likes a homosexual in there. You know, many people agree with me talking to them in my section. You know, um, and even my friend Ryder or Ryder, who I went to the event with, even agrees with me. He's just a Rico ripoff, a PG Rico. That's all he is. There's talk about a PG Val Venus. I don't even understand that comparison. No, he's a PG Rico, but Rico was funny. This guy isn't. There's nothing funny. He's just dancing. It's not funny. It's it's not good. It's it's nothing. I don't know if they're trying to be like dancing with the stars or some shit because they're all about catering to every fucking group under the sun nowadays, WWE. I don't know. But that's all it is. It's fucking dancing. A fucking dancing gimmick. And what is this shit I'm hearing? It's like people now, they want to say his name. Fantango. You know what this is? This is just a second-rate thing where it's all about his name. It's exactly like Mr. Kennedy. Except when he, the, the way he said his name was cool. Because it was a good guy that was good at cutting promos. Now it's just a stupid fucking thing. And the reason why he's feuding with Chris Jericho in the first place is because he can't get his name right. What kind of a stupid fucking thing is that? How do you start a feud over not being able to pronounce someone's name? What is this? What are, are they doing? It's like, it's so retarded. I, I don't even feel like I'm watching a wrestling show. This is like something straight out of public access. You're watching these shows that people are making, and you're like, these people are fucking retarded, and thus making retarded ass shows. So that leads me to believe that the WWE is being booked by a bunch of fucking retards. Straight up. Simple as that.
You know, it's plain and simple to see. I mean, if you have fucking eyes and ears, you can see this shit's retarded unless you have the brain of a two-year-old. I mean, fuck, for fuck's sake. I mean, come on. This is shit stupid. It's dumb. And to support it would make you fucking just mindless, a moron. You know, I, years ago, they would probably fucking lock your ass up for thinking these crazy thoughts. But sadly, there's laws and shit and, you know, fucking mental cases like this are allowed to walk around. And I know it's just wrestling, but trust me, these people are so fucking insane, it probably extends far beyond wrestling. These people are the bronies. These people are the fucking weirdos out there that, you know, that you, you wouldn't want around children or anything like that. You know, people that you keep locked in the family basement. Never to be seen, you know, it's fucking ridiculous already. Uh, and so anyway, let's talk about the fucking song. It's reaching number one on iTunes in the soundtrack quick category for WWE and all that. It's, it's alright if you want to like the theme. I don't fucking care for it. I think it's it's not good. I think it's one of Jim Johnson's uh, worst themes. There's nothing good. It's... Da -da, da -da -da -da. it's Completely unoriginal. It's just some generic dance theme. The reason why people were doing it on Raw, and I already said it before, it's because they were bored out of their fucking minds. And this is something you have to understand. It's New Jersey, so New York people are going to be there. The tri state area, whatever. We don't like being bored. We don't. You know, it's not like a major wrestling city or anything, but this is like a Ring of Honor crowd, basically. When you go there to New York or something like that, people do not like to be bored. So they're going to boo this shit or they're going to make fun of it. And that's exactly what they were doing in, in East Rutherford. They were basically just doing that because they were fucking flat out bored and they're making fun of it. They're just having fun. That doesn't mean they like Fandango, but people are, 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 are taking this as a cue all of a sudden. They like Fandango, and WWE's supporting the crowd, so I'm going to support them too. Ooh, Fandango's sexy. Ooh, you're a fucking retard. Jeez. I mean, what is wrong with you people? I mean, like, even if they seriously did like them, don't you know that it would be retarded to like a wrestler like this. I mean, you know, like likable wrestlers, you know, the old school rock, Stone Cold, CM Punk, you know, guys that give you a reason to like them. People that wrestle well, you know, say good shit on the mic and have a cool personality. This guy's just dancing around. He's got stupid looking tights, a stupid ass entrance, and some retarded gimmick about... You know, not being able to say his name right, he turns into a mental case and starts leg dropping you if you don't say his name the way he wants you to. That's just, it's its beyond retard. Like, my mind can't even handle such retardation. I'm sorry, but my brain, my mind is, is too far above. I've got too many IQ points to, you know, try to comprehend this shit because it, it, it's there for retards, you know, and, and, and this is the thing. Vince, this is all part, Vince McMahon loves this because he knows that there are retards, and that's exactly why they started this whole thing on SmackDown. It's fandangoing. If you hum his theme song, it's fandangoing. They're gonna turn this into a whole fucking commodity because Vince McMahon really likes fandango because he likes childish, stupid ass bullshit, and that is why he's getting behind fandango. He says because he's cocky. What's cocky? What what does he do that's cocky? I, I I mean because he's he likes his name that that's cocky. Oh look at me! I like my name. I'm so cocky. I'm so selfish. Ooh, what an intriguing character! What an intriguing piece of shit! I mean, goddamn! I I mean I, I seriously have shout out turds that are more interesting. You know, some of them look kind of weird. They're more interesting than Fandango. And that's in all honesty. I mean, seriously. There's there's balls of lint that I found in the dryer that are, are more exciting. Holy shit, that's a big piece of lint. It's fucking more exciting than looking at Fandango. I mean, the motherfucker just looks stupid. 
You know, I, I don't understand it, but I kind of do. It's because everybody is just stupid. They're fucking get brainwashed easily by the WWE. Vince McMahon is doing this on purpose, shoving it down people's throats. He knows if he keeps putting Fandango out there night after night, we're going to have no choice but to just put up with it. And some people are going to like him. And sadly, people have already started. Vince McMahon didn't even have to try that hard. He didn't have to try hard at all. It only took him a month before fucking retards started liking him. And he didn't even have, he only had to wrestle like one, you know, full match, and that's it. And the match wasn't even that great. And people are already starting to accept him. All right, I've had just about enough for this retardation. I want you people to go to your rooms and think about what you've done. Ha <laughs> ha.